I am tired, 10,000 people. I mean, just name a fight from pig manure to pesticide. We've done them all, but we need more. We are winning these battles. We are winning them in the field. We win more than we lose. And I will tell you, Flint will be taken care of because it is the local people who are going to ensure that Flint is taken care of. But winning these battles doesn't help us win the war. And it is really all of us at this conference and conferences like this that we really need to join together and say there's really one enemy, if you will, or opponent, if you're opposed to bad words like enemy. And the opponent is big industry. It's corporate money in our politics, corporate money in our EPA, corporate money in food and drug, corporate money in everything. I am an American, and I am proud of being an American, and this government needs to treat me and my friends and neighbors and colleagues and everyone else like an American. And that means the freedoms that we should enjoy, the human rights that we deserve. We just went to the United Nations, and we took the case of the St. Louis people to the human rights, and we asked them, to talk to the Secretary General about suing the United States before a Chernobyl-like event occurs. If they can't do it, then I'm not sure where to go. But we need to use these out-of-the-box ideas. You know, we, you know, someone was saying we can't compromise, we can't play, play an out-of-the-box. They don't know what to do with us in EPA now and in the White House because we went to the United Nations. Holy moly, what do you do with that? Right? So thinking out of the box is how we're winning the battles in the field, but we really need as a whole to think out of the box on how do you get corporate America out of politics, how to get corporate America out of the very agencies that were put together for the sole purpose of protecting the American people. Thank you.